Hey, welcome to the one month anniversary of Amusement Weekly. This week we're going to be covering two Six Flags parks. And then we're going to be covering Disney and what you're probably missing right now. And last is we've got a Coney Island update. So let's start off with Six Flags Magic Mountain. Now they've had some success stories in the past with X2. And even Six Flags Over Texas had a success story with the Texas Giant. Now, Six Flags is starting to think. They're like, hmm, we've got an old wooden coaster named Colossus sitting out, being run every day. But it's old. No one likes it. Hmm, build a new coaster? Nah, I think we're going to do the Rocky Mountain treatment. Which, the Rocky Mountain treatment is the same treatment as uh, the Texas Giant got. What happens is, they take the track, and they rip it off. They go, forget you track, we don't need you anymore, you're a jackass. And they bring in new track. But it's just not new track. Like, oh, we're going to put more wood on, huh? What they do is they get Rocky Mountain coasters to come in, and they design a new track for the coaster itself. They got the standing structure. It's a wood coaster, so you know you can just keep building. It's like a giant erector set. So they build up more supports, and they make it unique, more unique than before. And next thing you know, the Colossus is going to be a new coaster. You know, people who come into the park to look at it and go, oh, it looks like the same old Colossus. It's not going to be. No. It's going to be new. Now, right now, these are all rumors, but there's a chance it could happen. I'd like to see it happen. In fact, before it happens, I want to go take a trip out to there and uh, ride the old Colossus before they fix it. But you know what? Seeing it's like a smart move, a really smart move. Hey, let's, we got an old coaster here. Let's make it sexy again. I'm not a fan of the whole making a steel coaster out of wood. and It kind of, gets kind of messy. I'm just a pure wood guy. I'd rather ride a wood coaster any day. But turning it into a hybrid, you know, might be just a good thing for the park. Also, for its landscape and all that stuff, I mean, it's a very iconic coaster. You know, it's in National Lampoon's vacation. So, let's hope it all works out for them. Now, remember, these were just rumors. I don't know if it's all true. These are rumors coming off. Screamscape, I'll put a link in there, don't, they don't really have many more details than I do, but that's that. Next, we're going to go to Six Flags Kentucky Kingdom, or should I say the Bluegrass Boardwalk? What? There's a bunch of people who are involved in this situation, like Bluegrass Boardwalk Incorporated and Holiday World. Well, the family who owns Holiday World and runs Holiday World by Pat Koch and Dan Koch. Now, these people do really well with their part, so they want to expand. So now they want to run the Bluegrass Boardwalk. And you know what? The State Fair Board in Kentucky, where are chickens from, wants to allow them. So that's going to be great. Now, not only does uh, the Koch family have Holiday World, but now they're going to have the Bluegrass Boardwalk. So it's going to be good. Good times. They're going to invest like, well, the Koch family and the other investors in the Bluegrass Boardwalk Incorporated are going to invest like 15 to 20 million dollars into the park, make it nice again because no one's been there for a few years, so it's going to take some time to you know recoup after all those years of uh, neglect. And next thing you know, park's going to be open. They're aiming for May 2013. So overall, that means it doesn't matter because we're all going to die in uh, December of 2012. But <laughs> But if everything goes well, better than we hope, we're going to be going to the Bluegrass Boardwalk in May of 2013. Awesomeness! Great! Next, we're going to go to Disneyland and Disney World. Well, I'm not going there because apparently I'm sitting in front of this green screen yelling at the camera. But right now, at this very moment, I didn't know this up until like two days ago, that the Magic Kingdom and Disneyland are open for 24 hours! Yes, 24 hours! Why? Because February 29, 2012 is a leap day. So that means this day only comes once every four years. So that means next time we're going to be seeing this day is in February 29th, 2016. Haha, <laughs> you like how I did math right on the fly? 
I had it four to two. So anyway, Disney World's open for 24 hours. And if you're sitting here watching this video, it's either you're too late for it, or you just aren't there. But I know there's updates all over Facebook and all that stuff, and I just wanted to throw that out there because I felt it's kind of cool. And then last on our little agenda is a trip to Coney Island. Hmm. Watch this. All right, here we are at the Cyclone. And as you can tell, if you look behind me, that you can see that there's new construction that's been happening. You can see the fresh wood coming down on the first drop. Also, you can see a little bit of fresh wood underneath the track itself. If we can zoom in right to here. There's some new supports. And then if we go over to the first hill, the first turn around, you can see, I'm not sure if it's coming through clear enough, but you can see that there's new wood. There's new track, there's new uh, I think ledgers, I think the word is I'm looking for. And we got some new fresh wood for the supports. So which leads me to believe that GCI has been here and they have been working on this ride. So that's a good sign, good sign. As we know from the first video I made, they're gonna be going through the whole ride. So I'm not sure how much more this winter they will be doing. You can see that they're not working on it today because, uh, well, other than that, it, it is Sunday and it's like 35 degrees with a wind chill factor of like 10. So I'm a bit cold, but other than that, hope you enjoy this little update about the cyclone. Here's some more angles for you to enjoy. Thank you. Well, I bet you didn't expect that. Yeah, I went to Coney Island for you guys, because I love you. Anyway, that concludes my first anniversary. First one month anniversary, that is, of Amusement Weekly. You know, it's been really fun doing this, and this is where I'll end it. Nope, gotcha. I'm going to keep going. No one can stop me. No one can stop me, ever. Because this is like cocaine to me. It's crack! I love it so much. This is so much fun. This is so much fun! So, if you want to see more fun, hit the like button. And hit subscribe and leave a comment for me. Or else I'll lose my bananas! <laughs> anyway, you have a good night! Bye-bye! I'm actually really not that crazy.